Pretty good. See good to me. Get yourself a box. Prep, prep, prep. Done. Okay, so with flocking, um, I'm by no means an expert. I've only done a couple of bits. Uh, the first one, which I'll show a bit of now, um, which I did for the steering wheel, um, actually turned out sort of fairly okay as a first attempt, and that's where I actually did it in more of a controlled environment, a bit like this one. Um, the second one I did, which um, I think I've got the footage, but basically I did it outdoors because I thought um, it would be better for uh, my lungs, or even though I've got a mask on, uh, I had a big problem with that. Basically, I didn't realise it was too windy, the fibres were flying everywhere, um, it just was not working, parts I think dried out, I couldn't see properly. Oh, so I basically had to rebuy the part, which was for the handbrake surround, and I'm going to try and do that now. So this time, what I've done is I've set myself a bit of a station, so everywhere is nice and covered. Um, I've done a box, so hopefully I'll contain all the fibres within here, which means afterwards I can brush them up and re-put them in to use for future reference, because when I did it outdoors, I probably lost half of one of these. Um, I've got some new soft brushes. I've gone for um, like a medium size one because I want to do quite large sections because you've got to work fast. I've got my what sort of feels like black tar stuff. Uh, and if I just move the camera a second, so basically I've set up this is a, a plastic sheet because I'm going to do my painting over here, then move over to the booth so I'm not getting any paint on that area. What I've done is I have given them a really good scrub with a fairy liquid, hot fairy liquid. Uh, dry them with a the hairdryer so they're bone dry uh, and what I'm doing is I'm just finishing topping this mini flocker up to halfway because that's what it says I might just do a little bit above halfway but hopefully doing it in this way in a controlled environment hopefully shouldn't waste as much and hopefully the finish will be better so I'll move that out of the way so I'm going to paint on this side so this is the first part, which is the handbrake surround. So I'm going to stop talking and concentrate. <laughs> right, now I'm going to try, 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 start flocking this side. Try and get a different angle. Just have a look at it. In case I need more. Okay, I'm going to try and turn it around. Do this side. Okay, I think that's one done. Okay, so I'm going to try and collect a lot of this. As you can see, there is a hell of a lot. So, I'm done. Pretty good. <laughs> Look at my hand. Um, so I think this setup works, so I'm actually probably going to look at keeping that box, or if not, I can probably get another one like it anyway. Yeah, so having this box massively, massively helped because it contained a hell of a lot of the fibres in here. Um, I'm actually going to have to do a bit of tidying up. I didn't quite cover up, so the hoover's going to have to come out. Um, but yeah, having my little station here, so keeping all the gluey stuff there, all the fibres here. And then I've got them all down here that I've done. And um, so I didn't fully show them all, but um, they look pretty good to me. So that's for the underneath the steering wheel, because it should match the top section. The handbrake surround looks pretty good. And then what I thought I'd do, I thought a nice little touch was this inside the uh, the coin, uh, the coin sort of apartment. So instead of it all jangling around and making noise against the plastic, and what I'm thinking is, um, as I mean I can be bothered, I might do the uh, glove box in the same way. Uh, let me know what you think. Is that a good idea? Um, but I just thought that might be a nice little touch, you know, when you open it up and to sort of see that felt lining. So the only thing is when you do this, just get yourself some cheap brushes because the amount of ones I've gone through, like that one now is ruined. They say you can use stuff like white spirits and clean them. You 
cannot like this is an absolute nightmare to get off absolute nightmare and um, take it from me just buy some cheap brushes as long as they're soft bristle um, and do it that way um, I tried a roller on something once didn't work soft brushes cheap done get yourself a box prep prep is definitely key um, I've prepped pretty well as you can see look the, none of the fibers have gone beyond here it's kind of really been self-contained apart from there I missed a bit of an amateur there um, as I said, I am no professional at this, but what I'm telling you is, for me, this seems to be, um, this seems to have worked quite well. So, in my opinion, this is kind of how you should go about doing it. Um, make sure you wear a mask, as such. Um, got the door open for air, um, and this way there's been no wind, it's all been self-contained. Prep, prep, prep. That's the best thing you can do. So, um, enough talking. I'm going to try and scoop up as much as I can to keep it um because you end up using more of the flock than the glue but i might actually bin that glue now because there's actually little bits of fibers in there so i might bin that start fresh collect as much as i can and put it away so if i've got any future projects let's leave these to dry i'm going to leave these to dry for a couple of days and i'm going to get a hair dryer and blow all the excess off and i'm sure that will reveal some imperfections no doubt they're not going to be perfect but since i'm doing this by myself um i like the fact i'm doing it by myself uh, and also save some costs as well. So the next scene will be these in the car. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're now in the car. Um, it's quite hard to actually pick up the flocking with the light, but hopefully you can see it. So actually, what's quite cool is if I show you the first panel, the sections that I did at the top of the steering wheel, it actually fits quite nice and has a sort of similar feel really to Alcantara. So not sure how well that comes across, but um, there's a slight different sort of color to them but um it is a nice finish nonetheless um like i don't know if you can sort of see that but like see how it kind of gives that suede finish like if you see the way my hand is running so it has it is like a sort of a fiber a bit like suede is probably the best way because i think that's actually what it is it is basically black suede is the way they call it um but it's just got that really cool sort of like you know a bit more of a rally sort of style feel to it um you know no reflection um from here and uh, obviously, you know, it looks and feels quite nice. But um, yeah, it's turned out pretty good. I mean, in a way, the camera probably makes it look worse because you can pick out little bits like there. It's not quite taken. Um, but as a whole, it is pretty good. Let's see if I can just open the door and get a shot around this side. So, there, the ignition again. I think it's pretty good. There's just a few little tiny spots there which hasn't quite taken perfectly. But um, as a whole, it's pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with that. And then um, the other section is here. Again, I hope this does pick it up. But actually, this is probably one of the best pieces. Um, and I really like that. And so when it's closed, it is really cool. Um, again, it's difficult to sort of pick this up on camera. But um, it's got a really nice finish to it. Again, on this side, see if the lighting, there we go, if I point it down. So again, it's got a really nice kind of suede finish instead of the hard, cheapy plastics. Um, that has been done. And then I did, as we saw, I had done this gator surround, but I've not actually put it in because I wasn't totally happy with how it turned out. Like, if you can see, some of these edges hadn't quite taken. Um, and again, here at the back, it's not quite taken. A little bit there around these edging. I mean, as a whole, it's not too bad. But it'll bring me on to a video that hopefully I'll be doing in, say, uh, a few weeks. Is um, It coincides with a couple of things. So I've obviously got my heated seat buttons. Uh, I've just got the driver's one out at the moment. And um, they were going to be wired underneath. And I was going to look to somehow fit them in here. But what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of a shout out here to Mods and Flocks, previously known as Rookie Mods. Um, they do a twin cup holder and they can move um, the cigarette lighter or the one I'm going for is a two USB port instead of that because you don't generally use cigarette lighters anymore. Um, so that's going to be in the center, two cup holders, which means I'm going to have a nice section here and a nice section basically where that is on either side for me to fit my two heated seat buttons so i can have my drivers and my passenger side there which i just think when you're driving will be so much nicer to just do and at the same time of them doing that i'm going to get that and a new one of these properly flocked by by her because she does a much better job um than me like i was saying i think for these sections 
and that and that i've actually done a pretty good job but this one just didn't quite turn out perfectly enough for me um not massively happy with it so haven't bothered to fit it in because i'm going to get her to just do a new one and so that the flock matches um i mean it'll probably be very close to mine anyway because it's a black suede i want this and this panel doing just so then the kind of center of part of the car will look a lot better but as i said i'll do a video on that but yeah um so you know if you're looking to do something like this yourself um then hopefully you know it's sort of teach you a little bit how to do it again there's quite a good shot i think overall it's not too bad there's a tiny little bit missing there overall i love it i think it's just a really nice sort of finish and just these little touches that are in the car like them i think you know it just makes it your own it's a little bit different it gets rid of that horrible as you can hear cheapy plastic now to this nice kind of suede finish um whether or not i do any more i'm not too sure you know it's my very first time flocking um, so I'm pretty happy with it apart from that one um, I was going to look at doing loads of stuff like reflocking this but actually just because I don't want to mess it up and have to spend money on another one I might leave that center console for now in the future I may look at flocking sort of the A pillar uh, the B pillars etc C pillar and have the whole roof done not too sure if I'm that bothered though you know um, I know a lot of people do it um, but I'm actually quite happy with it, apart from, yes, I may, I don't know, I may just do the front A pillars, not too sure. But anyway, um, yeah, there's another little look at this, I suppose, the interior of the car, just as it stands now. Um, it will look better once I've got that flocked and the new cup holder in and my, and my buttons eventually for the heat seats will be fitted. They've been like that now for a long time. So I'm really looking forward to receiving the two parts from Mods and Flocks. But thanks everyone for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little video tutorial. Uh, quick update on the car as well. Um, as this video goes live, I think I will have hit over 500 subs, which is awesome. Um, it's really growing well uh, and it seems to be quite enjoyed a lot of these videos. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, uh, I could keep talking, but I'll keep it to other videos. Actually, what I was going to get onto. Okay, everyone. So thanks for watching the video. If you've liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, etc. Comment. Um, always appreciate comments. It's really good to hear some feedback. Um, yeah. See you all in the next video. Bye.